<laughs> yes. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, Vogue. This will be my next theme. So I guess we basically gave him his theme. Anyway, it's our last piece of evidence. Your mannequin, I mean... Suki. Is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed so, to do? Oh, you're so good. Oh, my I like how she's wearing shoes, but like nothing else. Suki. You are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? I'm telling you, this happened before. I think we got all the clues, though. Huh, where the hell is that stupid, like... I wonder if I can even help her anymore. I might have just completely I've passed. I've collected all yeah. the puzzle pieces. The west side window. I don't know if I can help that crazy lady anymore. Well, that sucks. Oh well. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Okay, what was the solution? Marshall. Are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you the same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first time for you. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly! I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. I don't know why Even he would tell him all this, I but... have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. Oh, it looks like he needs to be a little bit more careful then, huh? That's how he broke his pen. I'm going to be killed. Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally vanished. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft. Heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time.
Oh man, neither of these are mementos. Me the one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? What do you mean? Growing it out, look at that. It was just starting to grow out. It's growing out now, look at it. Come on. It's such a waste. Little Peggy. What should I do? I just get tased? What the hell just happened? Someone just tased the shit out of me in the bathroom. Oh, and that's seemingly it. Oh, man. What could happen? Additional voices, additional voices. Did, like, multiple people voice the same character? Oh, this game's very interesting. I just wish I knew what happened, damn it. Swarry's always got stuff up his sleeve. Man, it took two hours to clear. Holy shit. Anyway. Done. Achievable. Ah, look at all these costumes I got. Season 1, Episode 1 is done. All these achievables unlocking. Is this guy like what is going on in this game half the time I don't know okay huh proceed to the next episode sure Let's go to it. Might as well get it started up. Oh, we got a nice previously. Look I at didn't this. See you again this time either, little Peggy. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Oh man, is this that intro? I always think the intro is gonna happen and then David. it doesn't. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Is this guy the same guy that voices that hey. stupid doctor? Look. It's like I've grown wings. They sounded similar. <laughs> Anyway, I think we've already seen this like two or three times. I want to see that intro again, damn it. They won't give it to me. Good old Microsoft Studios again. Here we go. No idea what the hell I'm doing out here, but okay. Oh my 
god. Little Peggy. Who are you, mister? What's she doing out here? It's little as Peggy. Hey, mister, who are you? I'm David Young. Who are you? David? You're David? There's a spot built duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. Uh. <laughs> Why would it ever be a good idea to, like, play with a duck on a frozen lake during a blizzard? That's pretty fucking random. Uh, reach the duck family and sit down on the bench. Oh, great. I, I would actually really just like... I'll see you later. Oh, I can push her too. Yeah, give me those credits. All right, let's get the hell off this lake. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh my god, those ducks are frozen and dead. That is terrible. Apparently there's some credits over there that I can't get unless I go back. Why are there frozen and dead ducks here? This is so depressing. Like that's super depressing. for something. Something? Yeah. Something. So, what is it? A lead. That will let me meet someone special. One more time. A lead? What does it look like? I don't know. What'll you do once you find it? I'm... Gonna change the past. <laughs> you can't change the past, David. <gasps> Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. But... You can't change the past. You just have to accept it. I belong. Oh, this is a crazy dream he's having. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. There we go. Dead. Just gonna assume it's I am dead. I'm dead. I am dead. It's always this way. When I'm diving into now, the I can past, change all my outfits. And I fall because I've been collecting like thirty of down, them. I end up back here. And we can see which one's the best. And I can also save my game. Whenever this loading screen goes away, one day. There we go. Teddy. Teddy? Teddy! 
It's really gotten late. This belongs to the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. But is he really the type to use a stun gun? Little Peggy. <sighs> it's no good. The piece is unfitting. What could be Little on Peggy? it? Is there a phone? I'd like to really make sure that, like, everything gets Penny's saved. There's got to be a phone in his apartment somewhere. I would expect the kitchen. Did I just see it on the wall over there? I might have. Oh, there's a phone right there. Can I use it? Probably. Sweet. All right, so we'll save the game here. We'll wrap things up. When we come back next time, we'll uh, mess with some of the costumes we've collected, see what we've gotten, and we'll continue to try and figure out what's going on. Looks like I got a package from Amazon. Uh, and then we'll try and find out what happened to good old Forrest Kaysen, I believe, or Teddy as he calls him. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Hope you enjoyed the videos, and uh, I will see you guys then.